Okay, so here we are in Unity. And I'm going to duplicate this one, duplicate it over, and I'm going to call this one here 8a underscore gloss. Alright, so in our shaders, if I can find them, beginner, these ones. Alright, I'm going to duplicate our normal map 8a gloss map. So we'll add in the, um, the gloss and the um, emission in separate shaders, just because we can. Copy this one over and let's edit this one. Okay, so this is going to be really easy. What we're going to do is come down here to our light funnel where we have the specular reflection. And I'm just going to place this in brackets and multiply this by text.a. Okay, so if you didn't catch that, we can do it again down on this one. So specular, specular reflection, we put this in brackets and times this by text.a. So you don't, you don't have to put it in brackets, it will work without putting in brackets. It just keeps it nothing clean. The text.a we have a gloss map in the alpha channel and we can use that to control this. That's great. If we just reload this, you can see it's going to have an error. Undefined variable text. Okay, so the reason behind this is because we deleted it, remember, from the last video. So I'm, just, I'm just going to copy that back in under uh, text maps. So we just removed that text because we weren't using it. Now that we're using text.a, we need it back in there again. Cool, alright, so that there is now working. So Unity Cookie, to Beginner. Oh, and one more thing that we haven't done, we've not named it. This is going to be 8A, and we're going to say Gloss Map. Unity Cookie, to Beginner, Gloss Map. Alright, so now we have some Gloss Map. Now I'm going to take this shininess right down, and you can see that Gloss Map affecting it. So our specularity, if we just take you know 0.5 and put it on this one, you can see the difference there. These two are exactly the same, except the one on the right has a gloss map assigned to it. Let's just take this back up, and we can take the back half on this one as well. And you can see how that gloss map is affecting it. Now one last thing that you might want to add, is if you just come to the main text here, just add in a note here saying gloss A. Just so people know that it's you have a gloss map to the alpha channel. And that is it. That is how you add a gloss map to shader. Okay, so let's duplicate this. It was very simple. This is, this is a very short one. It's about time you guys had a bit of a break. So nice and easy for this lesson. Let's use a mid map. And I'm going to once again duplicate these. The second to last shader we'll be writing in the series. 8B emit map. 8B emit map. Let's fire this one up. 8B emit map. And we need to add in a new texture. I'm just going to Duplicate this one, I'm going to call this one here, emit map. This is going to be called the emission texture. White will be the default. Actually, probably want that set to black. Okay, so, we need to duplicate these again. We're going to take emit map, and there we're going to take our um, room power. Let's take, let's take a range. I'm just going to take this one, and we're going to go emit strength, and this will be a range of 0 to 2. By default, it can be 0. And this is going to be emission strength. Pretty straightforward. Grab the last float, paste it in there. So we'll just basically set up another map. We're going to have to do that a few times now, so I'm sure you guys understand how that works. Now in our shader itself, we will need to come in here and find our texture map. Text N, that'll do. And we're going to go text E, and let's just grab that emit map. You can type it again if you're not feeling lazy. Okay, and paste that in there. Alright, now the final thing to do is come down into your lighting here, and just on the end we're going to go plus e dot xyz times emit strength. Now do make sure that you only do this in the base, you don't want to add it on for every light, because this is light emission, it is not based on how many lights there are. Okay, so if we reload that back in, see no errors, that was good. Uh, we'll go 8b, can be assigned, so you can see it's asking for another map now, so in our textures folder, I'm just going to grab over this one. Now these textures are all on CG textures. I just um, edited them slightly. Okay, so emission strength, we can now power this up. So all it is, is I've placed a highlight around the um, nuts there. All right, that's great. So that's working perfectly. Okay, so if we go ahead now, and we turn off our lights, and we even go to our render settings, if we take our ambient light down to zero, you can see we still get the emission. 
And remember, the emission does not light your scene. It is purely just adding to the texture itself. So if you want your emission to light your scene, you're going to have to do a fair bit of, you know, scripting. And uh, it is possible, but it's going to lag your game a lot, I'd imagine. I haven't tried it personally. Um, I've heard of people doing it, though. Okay, so let's put that ambient fog back up. Or ambient light, I should say. So you can see we can see our textures pop up with that. And turn our lights back on. Alright, that is great. So you can just do distance there. Alright, so that is cool. That is it. Um, we have now covered everything you need to know about the basics of shader writing. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into the um, final one where we're going to talk about optimization.